What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another math puzzle. This one is called the Sixes Challenge, and here what you're supposed to do is using three numbers, and they're all going to be the same, right? Zero through nine. You're supposed to make six with each and every triplet. Now, the caveat is you can't add in any extra numbers and you can only use those symbols below. Plus, minus, times, divide, factorial, that's the exclamation mark, square roots, and of course, parentheses. Go ahead and hit that pause button and see if you can figure it out. When you're ready, hit play and I'll give you the explanation. So when we start a puzzle like this, it's always important to try and find out where should we start. Where's going to be our easiest point of entry? And to me, that's going to be with the three sixes because I can quickly see that if I simply add and then subtract, boom, I got six, right? 12 minus six is six. And we got that one done. Now let's go on to two, which also seems pretty straightforward because I can just say two plus two plus two gives me six. Boom, done. Now let's go on to something a little bit more challenging with the threes. So with three, if I do a multiplication symbol here and then a subtraction, now I got six. By the way, I do want to mention these are only one set of solutions. There's a lot of different solutions that you can come up with. So this is just the way that I'm solving it. Now let's move on to the ones. So one's going to be a little bit more interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the ones together and that's going to give me a three. Then I'm going to throw some parentheses around this. And now what is a factorial, right? Factorial is what I call the multiplication countdown. It's basically if you say four factorial, it's four times three times two times one. If it's six factorial, it's six times five times four times three times two times one. Going all the way down to one, right? So if I do this factorial, that becomes three factorial, right? Three factorial is three times two times one, which of course equals six. So we got that one all sorted out. Next, let's go on to four. So with four, I can do something interesting. I can take some square roots, right? What's the square root of four? Square root of four is of course two. So now we're back to this one. Two plus two plus two equals six and we are done. Now let's move on to nine. We can do something interesting here as well because if you recognize that just like the threes, nines are simply three squared, right? So if I take the square root of all these nines, now it's just like I got three threes and I can do the same thing up that I did up there. Down here I can do multiply, subtract, boom, done. Next, let's move on to the five. So with five, I've got something interesting here. Five is one away from six. Well, wait a minute. If I take these two fives over here and I divide them, that's a one. Now I simply add that to five and we're done. Seven, I can do something similar. I can turn these two guys into a one as well and subtract it. All right, now we're down to the two toughest ones, in my opinion, the zeros and the eights. First, we're gonna go up to zero because I know zero, people are like, how the heck do we turn a zero into anything beyond a zero? Uh, well, what we can do is we can actually take the factorial. So this is a little known rule, which I can't, it's really difficult for me to explain, but essentially zero factorial is actually one. So by putting a factorial in front of the zero, I'm turning those into three ones. And now I can do just what I did here with the ones I can add these together, throw some parentheses around that, and that becomes three inside. Factorial it, boom, I got six. Now we're on to what I consider to be the most difficult triplet, that's with the eights. First, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add these two eights together. That's gonna give me 16. And that's great because that's a nice, perfect square. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the square root of that. What's the square root of 16? That, of course, is four. But I can square root that again. So I'm gonna throw a double square root on top of this, right? Because I'm gonna take the square root of 16, which is four. Then I got the square root of four, which is two. And now all I gotta do is subtract two from eight, and we've got six. Again, I wanna emphasize that there's lots of solutions. The way that I did it is just one way to do it, but there's many, many other solution sets. So go ahead, be creative, and see what else you can kind of figure out on your own. I hope you enjoyed this math puzzle, and if you did, please click that like button. And if you wanna see more math puzzles on the regular, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you so much for joining, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.